You can have these buttons at the end of content, uh, you can have the buttons at the end of list views after images or anything like that. If you wanted to, if you were building, um, uh, let's say, a sample course or something, some type of reference document for somebody, and you wanted to have an introduction and then at the end of the introduction have a button, you can do that. Now let's add a theme to our button. So we're going to say UI dash theme. Actually, no, we're going to first of all add a class of UI dash BTN dash A or B like we learned about in a previous video. One other thing we need to do is add a data. In this case, we do need to add a data dash theme like we learned about in a previous video as well. And we're going to say equals and then we're going to have the letter B. We're going to apply the uh, theme, the B theme to this automatically. Now, if I had a theme roller and I had other themes created, I can do that just by applying the letter to the themes that I've created in theme roller. And we'll learn about that in a later video. But now if I hit refresh, my button is now the theme of B. So the rest of my content, because I did not apply that to my page, the rest of my content still is um, the normal A theme. But in this case, this button is the B theme. Let me go ahead and remove that just so we can keep this clean here as we go explore the different options. So I'm just going to keep this the class UIBTN. Um, but in this case, now we're going to add um, a mini. We're going to make this a small button because you notice it's taken up a certain amount of height. Well, let's say we want to reduce that. We're going to go in and say UI-BTN- actually not BTN. In this case, we just need to do dash mini. And now you can see it took away my theme, but now you can see that the button has become mini. It's become smaller. And you can apply that mini class on a lot of different elements on the buttons. You can apply it on the list views, on the icons, on uh, flip switches and other stuff like that. So how would you add an icon to this? Well, let's go ahead and explore that a little bit. I'm going to take away the UI mini and I'm going to say UI dash icon dash and then whatever icon I want to use. Well, in this case, let's just go ahead and use the delete icon. So in the delete icon, um, it will automatically, if I hit save and then preview, you see that it still doesn't show. Well, there's one more attribute that we need to do. We need to define where that icon is. So in this case, we're going to say UI dash BTN dash icon dash and then this is the position. So left, right, bottom or top. In this case, let's just do left and now we hit save and preview um, and now we have this little delete button. Well, how do I know what icons that I can, I can actually use? Well, if you pull open jQueryMobile.com, let's go to that real quick, and you click on the demos here, and then you come to the latest stable version, which in this case is 1.4.2, scroll down to where you see icons, and then click on icons. Now you can see a list of the different icons. So we can see in this case, action, alerts, arrow, dash D, arrow dash DL, and, and so forth. There's a lot of different icons to actually choose from. Well, if I want the back icon, let me just come in here and instead of delete, let's just type in back. Now, if I come back into my HTML, hit refresh, you'll notice now I have my back icon. Well, let's say I want that icon on the right. Well, I'm gonna come in here and instead of left, I'm gonna come over and change that to right. Now it's automatically jumped over to the right once I've refreshed it. Let's try this on top here. It, see, you can see that the height has become bigger, the icon is on top, and the text is on the bottom. Well, one more. Let's go ahead and try this on bottom. Now the icon and the text have pretty much switched places in this case. Well, if I want the icon to have a shadow, well, the only other thing I need to do is I want this to stand out a little bit more is I come over and after the icon position I will just say UI dash shadow dash icon we're gonna apply the shadow to the icon so in this case um, it's really faint but there is a shadow there that makes it pop a little bit more here but that's how you would add a UI dash shadow dash icon to your button now let's get rid of all those classes just get back to a normal button and so let's say we want this button to be disabled at a certain point. Now you can enable it at a later point using jQuery, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and just say, okay, UI dash state dash disabled.
and now my button is there, but it's a disabled point. Now I would have to add um, um, an attribute or I would have to use jQuery, which we'll talk about in later videos, to change that attribute to an enabled instead of disabled attribute. And that way at a certain point or if they click on something, then it can enable that button so they can click and continue on to other pages. So that's how you work with buttons and the different types of buttons inside of jQuery mobile. You can place the buttons on at any points and you can also use this href to um, go to any pages. So if I wanted to, let's go ahead and get rid of the disabled button here. And so let's create a page two. So I'm going to copy this whole div tag and we're going to paste that div tag and, and rename the ID. And let's just change the content to content two. And let's change the title of the header to page two, just so we know we're on the second page. Come back over to the content area and we're going to come over and on this button, we're just going to say, go to page two. And right after this pound sign, we're just going to type in the name page. Harder to see my keyboard here, but we're going to say page two there. Now, if I hit refresh, you can see my button has changed, my label has changed. If I click on it, it now takes me to page two. If I wanted to use other, like if I wanted to use on click and then have some function up in a script tag, I can do that as well. Or if I wanted to use jQuery just to get the ID of this button, all I would have to do is add an ID of this button and then I can add click and swipe events to this button as well using jQuery. And then I can take this button and I can place this button um, behind whatever content, within whatever content, inside of a collapsible, inside of just a divider or inside of a grid. And it will automatically, um, then I can add any functionality that I want to after that. But that's all you have to do to create a simple button is just add this class. And then depending on how you want the button to look is um, you can add other classes onto this uh, this initial class. But you do have to at least have the UI dash button in order to get started with the uh, the default button look inside of um, inside of jQuery mobile.